Well, happy Saturday morning. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure what time it is. Probably about 9.30 or 10. Uh, we're back out here today. We had to reinforce the floor because the back of the tractor with these tires full of fluid to add ballast uh, so it doesn't tip as easy uh, was creating little depressions in the flooring. Even though, you know, we had assurances from the, the builder. Yeah, I know, they've seen them full of shit yeah anyway so i uh went to home depot and got some three quarter inch flooring it does interlock it's a tongue and groove type thing so i put uh, a total of five sheets down um crisscross pattern to reinforce this so it creates a 12 by 8 foot pad in here uh, where the tractor actually sits to kind of reinforce that flooring so the there's two layers on the back uh, for eight by eight feet and then the one uh, front reinforced with the three-quarter and that's enough for the front I think that'll be fine and I did screw it in uh, there's a vapor barrier that I put down uh, the guy at the at Home Depot recommended that uh, for any flooring especially in the shed where you've got the um, hot and cold meeting each other uh, to not and since this is not pressure treated and they didn't have three-quarter pressure treated plywood by the way it had one sheet and it was all tore up so anyway here we got the flooring instead uh, so I got that in uh, while I had the tractor out and had this corner clear of equipment I finished uh, nailing up the, the wire you can see kind of one little uh, corner of it bowing out up there and then this end down here so I got more nail clips on there um, hopefully the, the electrician comes out to put a pressure bushing on the panel then he can look at all this and make sure he's good with the rough end. As long as he's happy with it, then then we're good. Uh, otherwise, I, I left it all intact and didn't splice and cut anything until he looks at it. Uh, then, as soon as I get the rubber mat back down on the floor, I'm going to climb up here and start doing some insulation. I got four rolls of the R15 fiberglass faced bats while I was at Home Depot. So I could start doing the spots, and uh, mostly in the ceiling where we do not have any uh, wiring so they don't have to inspect that but I can do uh, essentially the, the one side that is free and clear and maybe I can get to that end too in fact that reminds me I need to plug up that hole <laughs> with some great stuff I also got some two by twos you can see those in the back of the truck uh, for these uh, gable ends or the gambrel ends of the, the barn they have the two by four sideways, so I need to build that out to make a, a three and a half inch space to put the insulation. So I've got some of that to add a little bit extra framing, and then we can insulate all that once the wiring's approved. So that's the status so far. You can see it's kind of very cloudy. It was misting when I got the plover, and then kind of stopped as I got into rapids, which is great. Uh, but everything else looks good out here. Well, I didn't see uh, any critters living on the, the building this time, which is also very welcome. Yeah, that corner is even clear. All right. Uh, you can see what I made a mistake on there last time. I won't make that same mistake on the front. I'll cover up the outside of the vents, too. I just have to laugh. That's funny. Live and learn, right? <laughs> but everything else is looking all right. Um... So I'll get back to work and I'll give you a finished update. See you later. Bye.